नमस्कार विल बी सी सम ऑफ द डेवलपमेंट दैट वी हैव मैनेज टू डू सो फार विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द बायोगैस स्क्रबर इट्स अ वॉटर बेस्ड बायोगैस स्क्रबर द आइडिया इज टू मेक अ एफोर्डेबल बायोगैस स्क्रबर मॉड्यूलर वन विच कैन बी स्केल्ड अप एंड डाउन इन कैपेसिटी सो दैट इवन वेरी स्मॉल यूनिट्स so even very small units uh, which uh, have surplus biogas can uh, hope to just treat it with that and then uh, send it for bottling or something like that or uh, can be adsorbed in activated carbon to uh, be shipped for uh, cooking at remote sites and so on and so forth so that was the motivation uh, we have uh, tata center funding this and also we have uh, muni seva ashram bioenergy from valsad Uh, uh, to whom we have given a consultancy. Uh, we have started a consultancy project because once demonstrated successfully, they want to take it up into the field. Uh, so, uh, I'd like to give you a brief. Uh, next, please. It's not happening from here. Okay. Even this doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, this is not. Uh, it's okay. I'll just tell you. I request you to. Is it working? Okay. Uh, so here we'll see uh, the technology gaps with respect to conventional biogas scrubber. Conventionally, biogas scrubbing uh, has been uh, through pressure swing operation or membrane separation, cryogenic separation, or chemical scrubbing. And uh, the water-based scrubbing typically has been from 5 bar to 30 bar pressures because the solubility of CO2 and other gases also in water will increase with pressure. so if it is at 30 bars compared to what we are trying to do at the dome pressure which is one atmosphere the absorption capacity of water at 30 bar will be 30 times higher traditionally 10 bars is uh, what is used uh, 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 to make it more affordable and uh, higher the pressure you also have higher methane loss because of uh, this and then you have to have a flash chamber and recycle it and so on and so forth that complicates the system uh, at iit delhi uh, professor vijay steam they have uh, uh, managed to uh, get the system operating well with 10 bar pressure and uh, 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 their systems are essentially a column type uh, scrubber which is uh, uh, used to uh, operate at 10 bars and water is used as a scrubbing media now here the compressor is needed to first uh, pressurize the gas into the system uh, so that increases the cost the complexity of operation and so on and so forth and some of the issues with that is that uh yeah, your co2 uh, uh, can, of course can be brought down all the way to about uh, 2% or so in uh, this and uh, the cost is high the operating energy uh, consumption is high around 0.5 to 1 kilowatt hour per normal meter cube of uh, raw biogas is there and about 11% of the energy content of the biogas is used up in purifying so that's the cost to the uh, this uh, and uh, now what we are planning is we have developed some rotating contacting device rotating disc assemblies which are rotated with the flow of water itself and this enables the disc rotation the disc dip into the water and come up into the gas stream and offer very large surface area to tra transfer the uh, h2s or co2 predominantly co2 in our case okay into the water now because the pressures are around 10 times less than the 10 bar system our water quantity required is also 10 times higher our water flows are 10 times higher because the water flows are 10 times higher the conventional pack columns are not a good option because uh, the pressure drops will become very high distribution issues and so on and so forth and the pumping power up to the top of the tower and all those things will increase so instead of that we have a disc uh, based system which rotates uh i hope some of you got a chance to see uh, the demo unit placed in the uh, on the first floor uh, which showed how the water uh, disc rotate with uh, the flow of water itself and the advantage here is we have very high surface densities available and with the high surface densities we are able to make the system very compact the next advantage is we don't have any pressure drop whatsoever uh, uh, on the gas side because the disc are rotated with the water flowing on the lower side and the gas moves on the top so the direction of rotation of the disc if the water is flowing like this 
that rotates the disk in that way, and the gas is moving in this way. So there is no resistance as such to the flow of gas, because the gas, in fact, depending upon the uh, RPM of the disk and the gas velocity, we typically see that the gas velocities are lower than the tip velocities of the disk rotating. So the disk actually can act as if they're pushing the gas ahead. Instead of uh, creating a pressure drop, they can actually pump the gas in some sense. So we have noticed that we, uh, we have not seen any uh, pressure drop in these uh, systems. Uh, the advantage is what we can do is we can upgrade the uh, biogas to very high levels of methane. Okay? Uh, methane content greater than 90% is possible, and then it can be increased further to 97% if you remove the water present in the gas. Because we are doing bio, uh, water based scrubbing, uh, the gas is essentially saturated with water. Okay? So, after processing from this, we can uh, go through a moisture removal process, uh, which can be uh, one of my master students is again working on that uh, uh, to remove moisture from those systems using various uh, techniques. And uh, uh, after that, we hope to get gas uh, in the range of uh, 95 to 97 percent. Methane loss is low in this particular case, so that's another advantage. And the best part is the power consumption required is much, much lower, almost five times lower than the conventional technology. The cost per kg of biogas scrub, raw biogas scrub, is also almost five to ten times lower than the conventional technology. Uh, and the paybacks can be quite short. Just to show you, this is based on our patent, uh, uh, this where our earlier version was of this type, where we had biogas uh, water entering from this side and going down along the sloping uh, uh, channel, and the gas would enter here and get scrubbed through nine stages of this rotating disk inside. The disk will rotate because of the water flow going down, and the gas will get scrubbed uh, in uh, counter flow manner and come out. And then after it is scrubbed, it was supposed to go into this open channel where the uh, water, which is now saturated with higher concentrations of CO2 and the other contaminant gases, would get uh, would, uh, uh, strip itself as it comes in contact with uh, the atmospheric air. Because the concentration of CO2 in the biogas could be anywhere from 40 to 25 percent uh, uh, or so, while in atmosphere we have much lower than 1 percent also in most of the cases. So, we have easy regeneration of it without use of any other fuel or energy. Uh, so uh, we have other uh, uh, applications of these also. This also has been used as a stripper for a larger uh, system. Uh, we have used these for various other applications also, like wastewater vaporizers and all, which we are already licensed. OK. So you can see. I think this slide. Uh, uh, okay, uh, so this is our latest uh, version. We have a 90 mm diameter disc uh, rotors in this, uh, sim something similar to what is there displayed in the uh, on the first floor. And we have, in a 10 foot long section, we have 30 stages of counter flow mass transfer between the water and the other. So we have theoretically we require about nine stages to get it purified to this condition, and we are having around 27 to 30 stages in here. Okay, and then there's uh, uh, water which is saturated with the CO2 can then be uh, irrigated on these open uh, uh, stripping columns. Okay, where the water coming from here is simply let into this distributor, and the distributor uh, irrigates the uh, disk. And the, because of the off-center irrigation of the water on the disk, these disks rotate, and uh, air manages to move through and uh, scrub the thing. And then the water which comes out is again recycled here. Of course, this whole thing can be put up below this itself to make it uh, this. So basically, we have managed to uh, increase the concentration of CH4 so far. We have managed to go from 56% to 82% before water removal, water vapor removal. And CO2 concentrations have been dropped from 40% down to 6%. And we hope to do better uh, in future with uh, uh, further optimization. Our parasitic power consumption essentially in this case is just one single submersible pump. So the power consumption uh, per uh, meter cube of this is extremely low. We have around 0.1 to uh, 0.1 uh, kilowatt hour, or 0.1 uh, one kilowatt for 10 to 12 meter cube of biogas being processed per hour. Okay, and the initial cost is also in the range of. Uh, this is with our plastic uh, configuration. Here we have stainless steel, but now we have plastic configuration also, the latest one, where the cost can go for a larger unit as low as 0 0.84, uh, 8,400 rupees per normal meter cube. 
uh, uh, this. And the pressure drops throughout the, uh, this are extremely low, typically less than 10 Pascal. So what are the features? My last slide, what are the features? It's a simple construction, easy to integrate, install, and uh, maintain. So even villagers or this, they can easily assemble it, open it, clean it up, and reassemble in case it gets uh, accumulate some uh, carbon or any other uh, contaminants from the gas. Okay, uh, so the disk rotate with the water flow itself. There are no motor drives to uh, maintain or uh, no uh, this versatile design operable over a wide range of liquid to gas ratios. Unlike the conventional pack towers or various uh, this flooding is avoided even at very very high flow rates of liquid. Wetting of rotationing disk is assured because of the texture of the disk and the physical dipping of the disk into the water and then coming up. And we have models uh, uh, conceived, uh, uh, op, uh, means we have models for 3 meter cube per hour and 12 meter cube per hour already uh, in physical form. And 48 meter cube per hour modules are also envisioned uh, with the 300 mm diameter disk. This is with 90 mm diameter disk. This is with 140 mm diameter disk. And this is with this. This is a single channel of 100 by 100, 150 by 150, and 1 foot by 1 foot sections. And uh, we also have uh, intentions to go all the way up to 600 to 900 meter cube of gas processing for this for large uh, uh, distillery based systems and so on and so forth. So low carryover of liquid in the sprayed this in the stripper section is one of the advantages. High heat and mass transfer coefficients are possible. Of course, here we don't have any heat transfer. We just have mass transfer. Costs are energy costs as well as the initial costs are very low. And we predominantly use plastics in this. So corrosion and other issues are not there. Uh, and they can be cleaned uh, using jet cleaning if required periodically. Uh, quite easy to disassemble, assemble if required in the field, okay, and easy to transport. With that, I would like to thank you for your kind attention. If you have any questions, I would like to. Uh, we are hoping that uh, this, uh, uh, we are currently set up one unit, our second unit in uh, uh, biogas plant at IIT Bombay. And uh, Muniseva Ashram team was there, uh, I think, yesterday or day before to see that. So maybe within a month or so, we should be in a position to demonstrate it here. After that, they will be taking it in uh, Gujarat and testing it at their facility. And maybe within six months or so, if everything runs smoothly, we should have our first units. Uh, they can roll it out. Uh, there is another company which is also uh, for whom we are again going to take up a small consultancy project as a, just a demonstration project for them uh, for uh, three to four meter cube per hour. Uh, this so they are making uh, these distributed uh, power generation using uh, biomass digestion and so on and so forth. So they wanted uh, this uh, uh, unit, and then the other company, as I said, 660 meter cube for hydrogen generation. Uh, using uh, distillery uh, uh, gas waste. They have also been approaching us, but that will, will take up. Within a year, we should see some things coming up. Thank you.